I'm Lieutenant Williams, security officer attached to the Twink Division of the West Hollywood MSM Cooperative. I'm on my way to West Hollywood to talk to a group of queens. That looks innocent enough. Lots of young people like to play, but sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon, and he didn't feel like going home alone, so he decided to thumb a ride. He'd done it a hundred times, and he didn't think anything was unusual as the stranger struck up a friendly conversation and asked him about PNP. Jimmy wasn't so up to speed on all the new-fangled hookup terminology. He thought party and play had to do with soda pop and balloons. Jimmy didn't know that the stranger was talking about a different kind of party. This party was about crystal meth and sex. Yet to Jimmy, the stranger seemed like a really nice guy. Jimmy thought the stranger was a good listener, and it only seemed minutes until they pulled up in front of Jimmy's house. He then asked Jimmy if next time they could BB. Jimmy thought he was talking about BB guns. Jimmy somehow, someway, hadn't heard the term BB before and didn't know that BB meant bareback sex, sex without a condom. Gosh, golly, oh molly, Jimmy had a lot to learn. When Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a friendly pat. Then he told him he'd see him again, as he always drove by the park on his way home. Sure enough, the following day when Jimmy finished playing ball, well, the man was there waiting. The following Saturday, they went fishing together. By now, they were using first names. Ralph said it was more friendly that way. Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Jimmy knew there was something a little suspicious about Ralph, but, well, he was just curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph had a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less contagious. You see, Ralph had syphilis and chlamydia, but didn't have any symptoms. Ralph felt that because a lot of people were on prep these days and having condomless sex, that he was done worrying about it and didn't need to get tested. Losing patience to his primal urges, Ralph then told Jimmy he had something to show him in the bushes. Jimmy, ever the eager beaver, followed his new friend Ralph into the bushes only to be greeted by Ralph's trouser snake. Ralph asked Jimmy to play with his trouser snake, and because he was allergic to latex, he'd have to do it without a condom. But Jimmy was a boy of his own convictions and wouldn't play without one. Ralph, feeling desperate, tried a different approach and explained he was on prep, so there was nothing to worry about. He said he'd know if he had anything, so they should play bear. But our boy Jimmy knew better than that. He told Ralph that you can have an STD and be on prep and not have any symptoms, and that's why you should regularly get tested. Jimmy was on prep, but knew it only protected against HIV. Atta boy, Jimmy. Not so dumb after all. He even told Ralph he could go with him to get tested. Take a lesson here from the case of Jimmy Barnes and the WeHo Park Trouser Snake. Play with strangers, but don't be a stranger to the facts. Protect yourself, stay healthy. For more information on PrEP, condoms, where you can get both, where you can get tested, and crystal meth recovery services, visit weholife.org.